Hello guys, today I want to show you how to download Elementary OS and install it on a Dell Uplift 755. It should not be different for an another computer or a different distro for Linux, but that's my choice. So go on Elementary OS website, go down and download their software. You could donate, but it's not mandatory, so just press zero and download it. Donations are definitely welcome. After you download it, search for Rufus in your browser of choice and download their version. That is to put the ISO in a USB and make it a USB bootable drive that your system will recognize. While you wait for the download, let's shrink your volume. So go to the Windows icon and press right and go to Disk Management. And now press right on the drive you want to install Linux in and shrink it to the volume you like. Usually 20 gigabytes is enough for a Linux system, but your mileage may vary and you can uh, choose whatever capacity you like. When your download is done, open Rufus and leave everything as it is besides the free DOS and put in ISO file mode. Choose your ISO, which is the uh, file you downloaded from your Linux distro and just press start. After a little bit of time, it will tell you ready. And once it says ready, you can safely extract the USB from your port and transfer it to the computer you'd like, or just shut down the computer and follow the next step. Remove the USB and turn on the system you'd like to install Linux in. For this system to enter the BIOS, you gotta press F2. Once you are in the BIOS, go to boot sequence and set the USB device as the first one. In this case, you gotta press U and A to move devices up and down. And then once you have your boot sequence down, just press enter, escape, and then save exit. Insert the USB now and reboot your PC and you will be presented with this. It might take a while for older systems, but eventually you will get to the installation, which is this one. You can try elementary or install it directly. Uh, I am not gonna try it, but that is for every Linux distro, by the way. You will be presented with uh, the screen, which is totally optional. Now, do exactly as I say, because this is a dangerous part and it will erase your drive if you don't do it correctly. Install elementary alongside Windows 10 and do not erase the disk and install Windows 10. You might lose all your data. Once you do that, it's pretty straightforward. Just copying files and put passwords in. I know you're an intelligent person and I'm gonna think that you're gonna be able to do that on your own, but eventually the computer will shut down and you will need to restart the system and go back in the BIOS like I am doing right now. Once you go back in the BIOS, just do what we did before, but reverse, so put the USB as the second drive for the boot sequence. Press enter, escape, save exit, and then you're gonna be golden. Once you do that and you reboot the system again, you will be in elementary as like I will show in a couple of seconds and there we go, save exit. And now you will find yourself in the boot menu, choose Elementary OS or Windows 10. Once you choose, you will be in Elementary OS or Windows 10 by your choice, and that's how you dual boot. Thank you for listening, and if you like my channel, please subscribe, like, and share the video because it will help me a lot. See you in the next video, bye.